Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to work through four digit numbers and the units, tens, hundreds and thousands. It's, it, this is very important, it will come up in tests and in the classroom as well. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number, I'm going to write it nice and large, I'm going to put a little comma here as well. Now in the previous tutorial we covered reading four digit numbers so you should be able to read this very clearly. The number is 3827. 3827. Now what we're going to work through is the different units but we're not going to go through them in order because that would be too easy. We're going to go through them in a mixed bag. Suppose the question is, how many tens are there in this number? How many tens are there? And quite often you will get this. You won't just be able to write down, or the question would be, how many thousands are there? How many hundreds are there? How many tens are there? How many units are there? Quite often the question would be, here is a number. We want you to tell us how many hundreds it has or how many tens it has. So this question is, how many tens are there in this number? Well, if we work across, the tens comes up here. Okay, the units are on the right-hand side. I'm going to write the units, but not yet. So that is how many tens there are. There are two tens. And note the position of this. Okay, it is one to the left of the number on the right. And the number on the right is the last one. Okay, suppose the question asked, how many hundreds are there in this number? So how many hundreds are there? Which one do we label a H? It is over here, the 8. And note the position of this in relation to the one on the right, the two numbers on the right. Okay, for the hundreds there always has to be two digits, not numbers, two digits on the right hand side. So how many hundreds are there? There are eight hundreds. Now the question, let's suppose the question was, how many units are there? How many units are there? That's nice and easy. The units is always on the right hand side. It's always, the digit is always on the right hand side. So how many units are there? There are seven units. And let's suppose the question was, how many thousands are there? How many thousands are there? Well, we've only got one left to label, but imagine the other three weren't there. Look at the position of this. If you've got thousands, you always have to have one, two, three digits to the right of it. Here we've got 827, 827. They always have to be three digits on the right-hand side, so you can label the thousands very quickly. How many thousands are there? There are three thousands. Okay, great. Now we're going to work through one more. This time, instead of writing the number down, I'm going to write down how many different tens, units, hundreds and thousands it has. And I want you to write the number down. Okay? And we're going to mix it up. In fact, I'm going to mix up the colors as well. Here we go. We've got five. So it's got five hundreds, it's got six thousands, a 
There we go. It's got zero tens. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit so we have a bit more space. And lastly, it's got four units. Okay. Now what I want you to do is to write the number down that this represents. Okay, I'll give you a moment. It shouldn't be very difficult. Have you done it? Okay, great. Now let's work through this. Now what I like to do is, just going to change colors, I like to write this down. For the first time, if you're not very sure or confident, just write down the labels. We've got units, to the left of units is tens, to the left of tens is hundreds, and to the left of hundreds is thousands. So our digits, the four digits, are going to go here, 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 and here. So let's start with the first one. We've got five hundreds. Let's give it a tick and we'll write down five over here. Five hundreds. The next one we have is six thousands. So we can write down six over here. The next one is zero tens. So under the T, put a zero. And lastly, we've got four units. And we can put a comma in as well, between the thousands and the hundreds. So what number do we have? We have 6,504. 6,504. So that is the best way to write down, if you've got a mixed bag of hundreds, thousands, tens, units, first write, and I'm just going to circle this in, first write this down, the units, tens, hundreds, and thousands, make sure you label it correctly, and then write the number underneath, the digits underneath, and you'll get to the answer very quickly, and more importantly, correctly.